So you're looking to up your coffee home roast game? Well, we got the product review for you today. That's right. Today we're going to be roasting with the Baymore 1600, which is a drum roaster specifically designed for home roasters in mind. It comes in at about the $400 price point, which is kind of the lower end for your coffee roasting appliances. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so today I went ahead and weighed up about a half a pound uh, of coffee. And this is the Baymore, it's a drum roaster, so the drum is gonna continuously turn within this convection uh, oven. And the benefits of this is they can roast, of course, a whole lot more than you can in a skillet or in a popcorn popper, uh, which is very beneficial for those who just wanna <laughs> have one good roast. Another benefit of this is that the Baymore itself has specific presets and manual controls in which you can ramp up temperatures at your discretion, lower them, hold them at whatever you will, and it even has its own timer. So let's go ahead and get started. So within here we have our chaff collector right here that's going to sit underneath of our drum as it goes and it's going to collect all of our chaff. So what I'm going to do is add my green coffee right in the drum, close it up, and insert it right in. And then I'm going to stick chaff collector right underneath. Now I've already preheated this for about two minutes uh, just to get all the mechanics and everything warmed up and also so that there's uh, a nice uh, warm atmosphere. All right, some of the benefits of the Baymore, of course, is much better control and higher volume uh, of roasting as opposed to other methods. Um, with that comes also the ability to manually control this as well. Right now I have it at a preset, but one of the cool things is right in the middle of this roasting, I can change the temperature at any time or change the speed. So <clears throat> as I come down, I can press any of these presets and it'll automatically enter it into manual mode. So I can, I'm gonna go ahead and press P5 and you'll notice it starts to blink. And what that is, is right now I've turned it to manual mode. In manual mode, each one of these is an increase in temperature. So P5 is actually the hottest. It's the highest setting that it can go to possible. P1 is no heat whatsoever. And in between, of course, are different scales with that. And you can monitor and regulate that. So you may ask, hey, how may I tell, you know, what the temperature is in here? Well, you can press A or B. B shows you what the inside wall temperature is. And as you can see right now, we're sitting at about 237. A shows you your exhaust temperature. So you're able to kind of see both of those and regulate it accordingly. I just cranked that thing all the way up to five. And so we're gonna need a little bit more movement going on in there. The D button on here allows you to speed up your drum roaster. Now there's two settings, there's, there's fast and slow. Um, and that kind of almost simulates airflow. Now of course there's not really any air flowing through here. Uh, that airflow makes the brightness of that cup too, uh, or aids in that. But here we're gonna speed up that drum to kind of simulate that. And that's what we're doing right now. One of the, the cons um, in regards to the Baymore is that the, the heat doesn't quite uh, get as hot as uh, professional roasters do. Um, this will get up to about maybe 350-ish, uh, and then it'll have a safety uh, feature where it just cuts off. And uh, if you look at professional roasters and ones that, that try to achieve those uh, really good light roasts, usually they, they send it up really high and ramp it up really quick. Um, but here, we're, we don't have that luxury. We have to kind of maintain it around uh, anywhere between 300 and 320 uh, to maintain um, good levels. And currently right now we're at 280, so it's ramping up pretty good. Now, if I wanted to increase any of this time, we have a plus and a minus button in which we can increase the time or decrease the time however we wish. And remember, you never want to leave this. Even though this thing is pretty automatic, 
you never want to leave it because your beans can always get away from you. Um, there's been many a time I've gone in there to, to answer my wife about something and I get back and I just see smoke billowing out of this thing and my air, an error message because they got way too high. Um, so you never want to walk away from it. Um, but if you do happen to hear the first crack and you, you know that the time is coming soon, uh, if you press the C button, um, that's called the Rosetta Stone for this, and it'll automatically add a specific amount of time, uh, desired time, onto the roast after the first crack uh, to result you in, the mo in one of the better ones, um, better roast profiles. And of course that's subjective, but that's what the manufacturers recommend. All right, so right now we are just at our first crack. We can hear it rolling, so I'm actually going to reduce some of that heat to try to draw it out as much as possible. Um, but while while that's going on, uh, one thing I did want to mention, another pro for the, uh, the Baymore is it actually has a smoke suppression um, feature on the back. So if you are roasting in your house, uh, this is a pretty good thing because, um, of course, a skillet or something would billow smoke out. Um, hear that rolling right now uh, but yeah that is one of the the good pros of the Baymore is that it is it is very uh, much intended for roasting inside with this since it's a drum roaster and it's continuously moving there is going to be a lot more consistency with this roast uh, especially like you can hear that a lot of a lot of these um, cracks are a lot closer together than they were in the in the previous episodes or if you would in a, a skillet or anything like that um, so that, that's usually a good thing. Um, trying to draw it out or keep them tightly bundled is ideal. All right, so now we're about to take this out. Uh, one of the features that's for this Baymore is it has a cooling feature that you can press and it just will cool inside um, in the, the Baymore. But unfortunately, nobody I know uses this online or whatever it is, and I don't use it either. I turn it on just to show you. I actually cut it off and take it out. And why you might ask, because it's scorching hot, is because cooling also plays a big factor on the taste as well. And so the mechanics are still hot, so I'm gonna allow that to cool in the, I'm gonna allow that to cool, but As we can see, <clears throat> we're gonna let this thing air cool so it can have, we're go, all going for brightness. And I know that smoke suppression just kind of went out the window because all this smoke's up now, but I guarantee you taking it out now will give it a, a much better flavor. Thanks for watching this Cork and Java review of the Baymore and Leave a comment below with what kind of coffee roasters are you interested in. Also, we got a Facebook group. It's Cork in Java. You can join that group and we have lots of discussions on different coffees and also wine and other beverages as well. So join us there. We got a Twitter. It's at Cork Java and a Pinterest, which is at Pinterest.com slash Cork and Java. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see other videos like this, please smash that subscribe button below. And until next time, bottoms up.